Is it almost morning, puppy? No? Okay. It is actually like 5 o'clock in the morning. It is definitely not morning, but I really got to use the bathroom. There's a Starbucks that actually has dining open that's like four minutes away. And I'm trying to decide if I need to just go there and sleep for a couple hours or if I should go there and try to warm up for the morning. Uh, maybe I should just go there and figure it out when I get there. So this morning I went to a Starbucks. On their website it said that they had dining available, but when I showed up it turns out that they didn't actually have dining available. So there was a few guys just sitting outside enjoying their morning coffee, and one of the guys actually asked me if I was somebody who lived in my Jeep. I thought he just was making a, you know, pretty impressive guess off of the fact that my Jeep is all decked out. But turns out I was wrong. He actually recognized me because he follows the channel. He offered to buy me coffee, so then I just stood there and had a conversation with them. I asked him if he wanted to be on the video and he said no, so I'm assuming he wants his name to be confidential. He ended up giving me a little bit of cash to help support the journey, so shout out to him and his friend who also gave me a little bit of cash. That money's gonna go straight to gas into the Jeep because I'm really running low on funds right now. Him and his friend both gave me business cards, so I might hit them up and see if maybe I can get some work. That would be super awesome, but I'm still low on funds, so I'm trying to get a game plan for today. I'm actually at the Cabela's parking lot right now. I was able to return the shoes that my dad got me finally without any problems, didn't have to argue with them or anything. I was going to stay here in Phoenix for a while, but with how big the city is, I'm not the biggest fan. Basically, I made it back to Prescott, Arizona. Um, seemed pretty pro promising at first, except for as soon as I arrived, um, I had to take a nap because I only got like five hours of sleep last night, or maybe four hours of sleep last night. So, pulled over, and I was just kind of chilling. I was watching a TV show on my phone. Not long afterward, my phone just completely, like, touchscreen doesn't work, and so I can't log in, like, like, tried to get on Apple support and everything they want me to do I can't do because I can't get on the phone so I can't really get my serial number to get any information and I can't do anything on iTunes because I have to log into iTunes I have to get a verification code off of my phone to log into iTunes if I want to do anything with it plus I have to verify that I'm gonna allow this computer to do anything to my phone which I can't do with my phone doesn't work so I'm kind of just stuck with my phone not working. I can't call anyone. Siri doesn't work. I don't. Yeah, guys, I don't even know what to tell you because, like, genuinely, this, like, you can't. I main reason I came back to Prescott, um, I guess I should tell you guys, the Method Coffee here, which is a pretty nice coffee shop, almost good enough to compete with the Silver Grizzly. If it was only a little bit bigger and it was actually, like, downtown, I think it would... I don't know, I really like the downtown environment, but the, the owner has a land cruiser, seems like a cool guy, you know, we have two things in common, off-roading and coffee. Anyway, I reached out to him and basically wanted to see if he'd be interested in paying me to more or less do a commercial for him, and um, he seemed pretty interested, so if it's not a possibility, I am going back to Midland, Texas, like, there's just, like, nothing else I can do, unless, like, I spontaneously get, like, a bunch of supporters out of nowhere, which I don't think is gonna happen. Um, or my like channel skyrockets and like by overnight. Like it's just I need to get some kind of I need to get stuff figured out. And now my phone's broken apparently, and they're all like, I don't have an address if they get it repaired. And like, what am I supposed to do without my phone? Especially traveling, just like GPS alone. I don't even know where the Best Buy is here. It's it's really Kai. Kai. I feel like a bum who lives in his Jeep right now. I also look like a bum who lives in his Jeep right now. Um, 
went to Verizon and I didn't film the process because I was too busy trying to get all of this work done but basically uh, they're sending me a replacement so I'm gonna get the phone replaced they didn't even bother like trying to fix it like this thing is like I don't even know what happened just it just noped I was watching the new episode I was watching the new episode of Attack on Titan because season 4 just came out I was watching the new episode and after it was done it just cut out and I guess that was the end of it because there was nothing after that. Completely gave up on it. Um, now my problem is I have no idea what happened to my SD card reader. I don't remember the last time I had it. So I mean I checked my pocket. For some reason I'm thinking it was in my pocket. <sighs> I really don't know. Maybe it's in the pocket of my pants here so I'm going to check. And if I can't find that I can't upload videos. But I know this video, the last two videos are going to be really sucky. I just not going to get the comments talking about how bad my videos are because I don't do anything or whatever. But this was literally all I did today, guys. Like, I've been sitting around trying to figure stuff out. This is all day. This is more what it's really like, you know, living on the road when you don't have the security of knowing that if something goes wrong, you're in a pickle. I've been using my Patreon account as kind of a backup savings account basically so in case anything ever happened where I just needed to you know get somewhere like for example what I'm about to do right now just get the money drained of my account so I can have enough money to pay for gas to get back home in case you know something crashed and burned. And I'm gonna try not to drain it but I might have to just head to Midland as soon as I get this new phone only thing I'm waiting on is to see if Method Coffee is willing to pay me to make this video. Um, even if I do it though, I'm probably still going to head to Midland immediately afterward. I might have to just stay, work a, work for a month, get some stuff organized. You know, get some stuff fixed on the Jeep, like my brake light's on. I think my cylinder went out, my master cylinder. It's, you know, little things. Get my transfer case rebuilt, stuff like that. Yeah, so fun.